hello everyone welcome to another video this is going to be a simple tutorial on how to install and run programs in Massa. so to begin let's uh, let me show you the repository that I've created so that it will be easy for us to conduct this uh, tutorial so this is the link I will be sharing this in the description so the git repo contains all the tools required uh, for understanding and even learning along with the softwares required to install so let's begin one by one how to uh, set it set up the environment for masam first of all let's download dosbox now uh, let me just explain you why dosbox is required now masam uh, 8086 assembler is a um, DOS kind of a application which does not run on latest Windows that is Windows 10 and Windows 11 so to run those programs uh, DOS based programs on Windows we need to install first uh, an environment that is the DOS box now what DOS box does is it enables us to run those old uh, DOS programs in our new uh, systems okay so let's first in the, download these two so you can click on these links and download both of them now once those are downloaded it will be usually in the um, download directory so something like this so you can see I have DOS box downloaded now we will double click on it let me just zoom in okay so these are the two files that are downloaded so let's first install DOSBox it's very simple just double click and then click next 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 and close that's it now DOSBox is installed now if you check the uh, uh, desktop you should see an icon for DOSBox uh, double click on this just to check whether it's working so you can see it is working perfect now we'll close this we will not keep it open because we have to do few more things before we uh, start okay so let's go back to the downloads folder and extract this uh, the other assembler so extract and uh, you can click on extract so this will extract into a folder right and double click and you will see that there is a 8086 folder inside that and inside that you will see all the uh, software that we require to compile and run the code so most importantly we have masm and we also need link and we also need debug so these are some of the things that we will be needing right so let's go back so let's copy this from the downloads directory and copy it to the c drive okay so let's paste it and we have the 8086 folder inside our c drive so let's open it and you can see all the files are there now what uh, the next step that we want to do is we have to uh, create the file assembly file that we want to actually compile okay so let's go back to our repo now um, all the steps that I whatever I have mentioned it's mentioned over here so nothing to worry now in the codes there is a codes folder over here so if you already have an assembly code ready then you can use that or if you just want to try it out then you can see I have a lot of programs listed here you can take any one of them so I'm going to take this one add WI ASM so WI is just uh, the naming convention that I've used so that is for add with input okay so in this case I'm going to add two numbers where the user is going to enter the input and then we will see the result okay so let's take the code of that so let's copy okay so I've copied copied the contents of the code you can see this is the entire code let's come to our 8086 folder here we will create a new file let's create a new text document let's call it add dot ASM okay let's paste it if it 
says change the extension yes say yes and once the file is created open it with notepad and paste the code that you have copied just now okay and save it that's it okay so till now we have installed DOSBox, we have copied the 8086 folder and inside that we have created a file that we want to compile. Okay, so this is our add.asm. Now it's time for us to run the DOSBox. So let's double click DOSBox and get inside the DOSBox. Now let's go back to our manual so in this you can see we have reached till here start dos box so step number five is done now comes the uh, remaining part where now this dos box is a virtual environment so we have to first mount the uh, folder where we have copied the 8086 folder that we have to mount into dos box so for that the command is mount c c colon 8086 so basically what i am saying over here is i want to mount with the letter c and which folder i want to mount c colon 8086 now this letter can be anything it is up to you so i'm just taking it as c okay so let's go to dos box and let's type mount c c colon backslash 8086 okay so the mount the volume is mounted next i want to change the drive so right now if you see i am in z drive so let's change the drive to change the drive you just have to type the name of the drive so name of the drive here that i have selected is c so i will write c colon press enter and just to check whether all the files are there or not i will just put dir command and c so you can see all the our, all our files like masm link everything and even our add.asm is there okay so once this is done then we are ready to compile okay so um, one common problem that you will face is uh, uh, many times you will uh, forget to create this file add.asm or any other file that you want to compile you you have to create it before you mount it okay so if you create it after you mount it then that files will not be reflected over here okay so what you will have to do then is uh, either unmount it or simply you just close this and uh, remount it again by starting dos box okay so let's begin so now how to compile this program and run it okay so it's very simple first you will use masm masm.exe and give the file name add.asm okay so basically what i'm telling masm is to compile this and create the object file okay so let's press enter so it will ask me few prompts so you just have to keep pressing enter and it will create the object file if there are no errors so you can see i have no errors zero severe errors zero warnings perfect so now if i do dir you can see along with the add asm i also have add obj right so the object file is ready now with this object file i am going to create the exe okay so to run the program i will need exe so to create the exe i will use link.exe and the object file name okay that is add.obj now press enter now it will again ask for certain prompts just press enter till it finishes and you can see now this command has created an exe let's verify that let's press dir and you can see now i have three files add.asm add exe and add obj so this step created this exe file now once you have this to run the program it's very simple you just take the exe and execute it okay press enter you can see it is asking you for input let's say 4 is my input and the second input is let's say 3 addition is 7 perfect so this is how this entire uh, 
compilation of your assembly program works in MASM. Okay. Now, sometimes uh, there may be instances where there is no input taken. You hard code the input inside the uh, code itself or the sum is not printed. Okay, the output is also not printed. It is just stored inside some variable, right? Now, if you want to test out uh, without printing uh, any data, then in that case, uh, since there is no output, you it is better that you uh, check the individual registers where the data is getting stored. Uh, but how will you do that? Uh, in when you execute an exe, you cannot see the registers or the memory where it is getting stored to do that there is another program called debug okay so we can use debug exe and the name of the file the exe which you want to execute so that is add.exe now once you run this you will get a prompt something like this okay so basically here it is waiting for some commands from your side so let me just show you all the different commands that uh, that will be there for debug okay so let's go down so we have finished all these things now uh, when we come down look at the debug command reference okay so here you will see all the letters that you can type to check uh, what instructions are going on what registers uh, the values are there in those uh, in those registers so uh, I will show you the T um, command so let's open our debugger and press T and press enter so what T does is it's it runs the code line by line okay so it has right now you can see it has executed the move ds comma ax command okay so if I press T again it uh, executed the next line of code that is move ah comma zero nine right so it is executing the codes one by one and at the same time it is also showing you the values of the registers all the registers that are there so you can see the ax has 076e the other registers in fact the uh, the program counter okay instruction point that is initially it was uh, 003 then it became 005 right so let's take one step ahead so next um, command is lea dx and the instruction pointer is now at 0007 right so you can see this is uh, happening and let's try to run it and see it is it is running the program continuously right so like this uh, you can Try it out uh, by running each step one by one and checking out what is the result. Okay, so um, let if you want to quit from this, you can see in this data sheet you can see the to quit from the debugger, you have to press Q. So let's press Q, and we are out of the debugger. Okay, so this is how you can use the debugger. Okay, I hope this. Uh, video was clear now I would like to show you one more example uh, let me just go to the code let's go to codes and instead of add with input let's take this example this is add without any uh, input so here the difference here is there will be no user input the numbers that we want to add is already stored in here like for example num1 is 5 num2 is 3 so these will be added and stored inside sum that's simple right so we will take this and i will show you how the debugger actually uh, we can use debugger to see the output without even printing anything okay so let's take uh, let's do one thing let's create let's edit this file itself let's edit this add a notepad okay save okay now that is saved let's go to DOS box now whenever you change the code using notepad or using any other command you will have to recompile it okay so you will have to recompile so let's um, recompile the code so to compile first step is masm and the name of the file add.exe sorry add.asm 
enter the program is compiled now let's link it link add dot obj okay linking is done now the exe so let me just show you first by running it how it works so if i press uh, add dot exe press enter you can see i get uh, i just got the sum of five and three that is eight okay so the answer is perfect but now let's debug this debug add dot exe let's run it let's step one by one the uh, instructions one by one so let's press first come instruction second instruction third instruction okay now here um, we are basically uh, storing the value of al inside this data now check this out so there are four instructions that that is completed right so we uh, copied uh, the value from 006 that is the num1 okay so num1 to al okay then we added whatever was in num1 that is al we added with num2 and that is the result that has that is getting stored in al itself so that is what this add command does so if you want to check whether it is it it was reflected or not just look at the register before this instruction is executed so this is the uh, value of the registers before this instruction is uh, executed and this is the value of the registers after this instruction is executed right so look at this ax so ax comprises of ah that is 07 and al of 05 right and if you see in the calculations or in the command we have used only al so basically only this part is going to change okay so look at this right now the value of al is 05 because in num1 it was the, the value of num1 was 05 right so num1 was stored over here now after this operation is completed you can see the value of al is 08 because num105 plus num2 that is 03 5 plus 3 8 and that is getting stored in al okay so this is how we can verify that our uh, program is working perfectly or not without even printing anything okay so that's it for this video. Thank you everyone.